Thank you very much. Thank you. It's so nice because you see, you can see that the trail has already been blazed because the trailblazer just, you know, just did it for me. So it's, it's very nice. They, uh, and, and the truth is, very many slides I'm going to show you now, you already seen from Dr. Yardine presentation and Dr. Day's presentation. It's nice to be last. So it will be faster. The, uh, um, so neuromodulation for facial pain. There's a reason why they put this talk last, because I think it attracts much attention. And uh, people talk about this for a variety of reasons, good or bad. And I think it's worth discussing because there's so many things that we can do for these patients. Maybe not so much for your exam tomorrow because a lot of things that you're going to see today are still very much anecdotal and a small series, but it's heading in that direction. And I think it's very good for me that I'm going last because very many excellent points that I want to bring uh, to your attention have already been made and I will emphasize them again. The, um, uh, these are disclosures, you know, they're really nothing relevant to this particular presentation, but I work with many companies one way or another, um, and I work with many societies as well, because just like WIP, there's many other good organizations when you can learn from your colleagues. The, um, the neuromodulation for facial pain is definitely not new. Just like Dr. Ardina said earlier, there are certain indications for this, and the first indication was neuropathic facial pain uh, treated with very high frequency stimulation exactly 60 years ago.